Women who don't resemble one another. Women who seem so different from each other. Women, each of whom has her own life story. However, these women face the same problems and share the same destiny, that of single parents. Once a week, these women meet to overcome their difficulties. Once a week, they leave behind the political issues confronting Israel. They forget about financial concerns and about their religion. Once a week, these women, Muslims, Jews, and Christians, come together as one cohesive group, motivated by the same aspirations and sharing the same concerns. Tel Aviv Jaffa at the beginning of a new millennium, a city of stark contrasts where people of three religious faiths live side by side. Current challenges overshadow the problems of the past. The era of coexistence has arrived. This film is about two women, Rachel, who is Jewish, and Yusra, who is a Muslim. The story of two women with a common destiny. A story about friendship and about Witzo. Yusra is widowed and works outside the home in order to meet the needs of her six children. As they do every week, Yusra and Rachel are to meet this evening at the Witzo Center for Single Parent Families in Jaffa because their Jewish or Muslim identities don't matter there. For these two women, their get-together is a source of great joy. When I arrived at the Witzow Center for Single Parent Families in Jaffa, I made friends right away and felt at home. We're going to spend the day with Yusra and Rachel each of whom aspires to a better life. Rachel is active in efforts to improve her community. In the afternoon, she works at the Witzo Center for Single Parent Families. And in the morning, she works at the Witzo Day which provides care for Jewish and Arab children alike. In Jaffa, where the financial situation is very difficult, the Witzo Daycare Center is of utmost importance in enabling the mothers of the children in its care to enter the workplace. Today is the first day of school at the Witzow Daycare Center, and the mothers find it difficult to say goodbye to their children and go to work. The teacher asks Rachel for help in comforting the children. Rachel does so with all her heart. Yusra begins her day at a center for juvenile delinquents in Jaffa, where she teaches arts and crafts. Yusra works with a population of young people who crave the affection which is denied them at home and who are in great need of guidance. Yusra is here to listen to them and to give them direction. These young people are at ease with her. Everyone has his or her own work style. I, for one, put my whole self into my work and I get a tremendous amount of satisfaction out of it. For the past 10 years, after concluding her work day at noon at the Witzow Daycare Center, Rachel goes to the Witzow Single Parent Family Center, where each day brings new women who tell Rachel of their lives of difficulty and despair. A young mother in distress who is raising her children alone is waiting for Rachel at the Single Parent Center, which is located next to a clothing warehouse for needy families. Rachel rushes to greet her. Women stream into the center all day long to recount their problems and to tell what they've gone through. We are always here to listen to them and are ready to help them. When you walk around the streets of Jaffa, you realize that the most deprived segments of the community, including minority populations, are in real need of help. 
Witso is convinced that the development of projects which promote coexistence are essential to the establishment of a fully just society in Israel. It's 2 p.m. and Yusra is on her way to her second job, where she works cleaning a center for the blind. When I was married, I didn't work, I didn't leave home. My husband provided all of our needs. I was afraid to go out to work. The first time that I came to work, I was so excited. It's clear that cleaning is just a part of Yusra's job here. As she shows such devotion to the blind people with whom she's in contact. Although I'm tired, and despite everything which I've encountered today, I'm now going to meet Rachel at the Single Parent Center. Rachel is a source of comfort and relief for me. It's now 8 p.m. and Yusra and Rachel are at last together at the Witso Single Parent Center. For these women, whose path in life is strewn with so many challenges, their time together is a precious moment. They feel like family. They like coming here. They feel at home. They never miss a meeting. Since its founding in 1920, Witso has provided its range of services to all sectors of Israeli society without regard to religion or nationality, based upon the principles of the Israeli Declaration of Independence. Divisions and tensions prevailing today in Israel motivate Witso to act on these principles with even greater resolve. Witso will pursue its work on this issue every hour of every day to promote coexistence in Israel. This issue will shape the future of the state for generations to come. Please support Witso in these efforts to promote coexistence. Witso, making it all possible. <laughs>